In this paper, we present a mixed reality system with physically based rendering. Our algorithm starts with a slam stage that uses depth to obtain camera pose and scene geometry. We then use ray tracing to compute the scene illumination both with and without inserted virtual objects. We refer to these as ERV and ER respectively. The sparsely sampled direct and indirect illumination is then filtered to remove noise using a physically correct filter size. The filtered illumination is then composited with the Connect camera's RGB image to produce the mixed reality image. In this video of a desk scene, we first show the reconstructed normals. Now we show the unfiltered and hence noisy illumination with only real objects and with both real and virtual objects. Here are the filter sizes for the direct and indirect components and the resulting filtered images. Our main contribution is a derivation of filter sizes for environment illumination. In this final composited mixed reality image, the real cloth bleeds color onto the virtual cup. The virtual Rubik's cube casts shadows on the real table and indirect illumination on the real box. The real tape casts a shadow on the virtual newspaper. Here is the comparison between the original scene and the composed scene. Here is the final rendered sequence. Observe that while the input video is captured with a handheld camera, the virtual objects correctly follow the camera motion. Here we show the other examples. In this example, we add a diffuse table and cushion and a glossy trash can. Observe that the glossy trash can correctly reflects the texture of the ground that is visible in the image. In this kid's playroom scene, we insert a moving toy and stationary doll and stool. Note how the shadows of the virtual objects match those of real objects. We now show still image comparisons. First, here is the result from unfiltered Monte Carlo with equal samples. Note the significant noise in the regions indicated by the red arrows. Here is the result of our method. Note that the noise level is considerably reduced by filtering. Finally, here is the reference image which requires 60 times more time to render. Finally, we show the comparison of our result with and without temporal filtering. Temporal filtering reduces noise significantly. Technical details, more data, and evaluations are shown in the paper. Thank you.